here we have another MacBook. This MacBook has liquid damage, and it doesn't appear to be turning on. Let's open up this MacBook and see what's going on with it. Oh boy. Oh dear. Oh my. Liquid everywhere. Plug in. Let's see how much power the board is taking by itself without the battery. Twenty milliamps. So we are getting to twenty volts. Twenty volts means that the PP3V3 underscore G3 hot is being generated, and the CD3215s are communicating with a charger. MacBook. It's a MacBook. Dun, 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 dun. MacBook. It's a MacBook. Du, 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 du. So the first thing we're gonna do on this MacBook is check its PP bus. Is PP bus a proper voltage? Or is it not? Now in order to check the MacBook's PP bus, going to have to touch the MacBook's PP bus. Always get consent. MacBook, may I touch your PP bus? Yes, Lewis. Okay. Let's see what we get. 0.6 volts on PP bus. No good. Next thing to do is see if there's a short circuit to ground on PP bus. No short. But point 0.1 volt what? That's strange. Okay, let's open up a schematic to this MacBook and see why our PP bus is low. Oh boy, a call an hour, two hours after closing. I wonder what you could be calling about. Hello? Oh, yeah, those we actually don't have batteries for anymore, I'm afraid. I would suggest getting it online. We don't stock the batteries for them because that model has a graphics chip that always dies. So anytime we touch anything on that computer, when the graphics card dies, people think that we did it and that we destroyed it. So we usually just don't touch that specific gear and model for any reason whatsoever. Wow. Yeah, I know. Yeah, we just if we had batteries, we would, but we don't have any batteries to it. Okay, so um, as far as the hard drive is concerned, because it comes with the SSD drive, is this the same is this the 15 inch 2011 yeah. yeah we we don't even let them in the store we have like little omega beams like dark side for superman every time we see that machine to just yeah we, we, we don't th <laughs> i know what you mean <laughs> it just makes you laugh just take it away you, you could find a battery online for 30 to 50 bucks just be prepared that right after you replace your battery your gpu will be dead as well Thank you so much. Get out of my store. You have a good day. Get the fuck out of my store. We are closed. You call between 12 and 8, you get quality customer service. You call two hours after closing, you get Lewis customer service. That's the way that works. 12 to 8, quality customer service. 10.30 at night, shit customer service. You get an answer at 10.30. I will say, we are the only MacBook repair shop, I bet, within a five fucking mile radius where you will get an answer at 10.30. You will get an answer. You may not like the answer, but you get an answer. You get an answer. All right. That being said, Paul says I want to do the after hours customer service. You know what I'm actually thinking of doing is I cre Apple created a manual on how to do customer service. And it's this ridiculous book on how to manipulate people. And I have a manual that I created because I'm a very not people-oriented person. And I need a manual to follow. I'm thinking of reading my manual on customer service on live stream someday. Anyway, uh, I can't not answer a ringing phone. It's impossible. Can anybody here not answer a ringing phone? I can eat one potato chip. I can even do one tiny serving of an addictive drug. But I cannot not answer a phone if it's ringing. It's impossible. I'm not strong enough for it. All right, so let's see what we have going on here. So this chip is the ISL, ISL, where was I? F7000, F7, okay, F7000. This is the circuit, ISL 9239, that's gonna create our PP bus, which is missing. Let's take a look at what that looks like on this board. Why would the GPU die after replacing a battery? 
You're asking the wrong question. The right question is, how is it that it's 2019 and your 2011 GPU still works? I'm not kidding. I installed open. I installed the. I installed LibreOffice on uh, on the weekend for for somebody with a 2011. They came back six months later with the ever since bullshit. Ever since you installed Office, I've been getting graphical glitching. Oh, get the fuck out of my store! When I see a 15 inch 2011 MacBook Pro. Omega beams, just no, no. I'm going to take the salt gun. I have that salt gun that we use for the killing bugs. I'm going to point it at you, and I'm going to start shooting you until you leave. Get that machine the fuck out of my store. That is a customer service nightmare. Nope. No, not touching that shit. Nope, you ain't ever sensing me. No ever sensing. No ever sensing. Okay, that's the chip responsible for creating the pee-pee bus. Now we're going to check for a couple of things here. This is our circuit. So the first things first is we do have a couple of things that are similar to old MacBooks when it comes to the PP bus circuit. You may notice current sensing. So C7020, this is one of the current sense, uh, this is a capacitor between the current sense resistors. We're going to measure that, see what we get. Okay, so the next up is, that was one current sense circuit for the battery. Now we got to find the current sense circuit for the charger. All right, so that's going to be C7023 between there. Current sense is doing its job. Okay, now we're going to check some voltages because this is confusing. We're going to see where the 20 volts end. So we get 20 volts in the charger, right? 20 volts is present on the charger. Our question is, where does it end? So this is my beautiful little ISL 9239 area. We're going to check over here. So from USB-C source, PPDC in. I want to check if this is coming in. We can check that on R7022, right here, on pin one. I have picture in picture, this is so cool. I got, the I got the best employees ever. People like Paul and Hi Hi, man, they make me smile on days where I'm sad. Paul and Hi Hi, people like that. Someday maybe an L, an L's getting there. 20 volts is getting there. Okay, so that first transistor's not opening, so check this out. We have 20 volts over here, right? 20 volts is over here but it's not present on output. Why is that? Here's Q7030 and Q7040. Okay, so this is the first transistor over here. We have first transistor. Let's see what's present on my gate. Okay. Okay, this is an end channel. So it means that this is actually doing its job. So this is an end channel, which means the voltage in the gate has to be equal to or greater than the voltage in the source for it to work. But over here, the source is, yeah, so this is some funny, funky shit with my ISL, isn't it? Which is weird, because the only liquid damage I got in this board is over here. By some stuff that I don't think has much to do with my ISL. This picture-in-picture -picture thing is awesome. God bless, hi, hi. Okay, so we have that cap. That cap's not going to be shorted, though. Not shorted. Surprisingly not shorted. I mean, still, you're gone. And current sensing is doing fine. So let's take a look back by this uh, ISL6259. Okay, so Rossman Group, may I help you? Josephine, how you would, you would you like to help me? What would you like to help me with? How can you help me? Okay. Let's see, P VDDA, VDDP, it looks like there is still voltage that has the power U7000 from some chip somewhere. Wait a second, that could be what that little chip that's all corroded is for. Okay, let's see, what is that little thing for? Okay, the capacitor might not be important, but we've got this... Oh, never mind, that's a stupid diode for SMC data line. Okay, cell is usually, is pulled up by TBA, VDDA. What's that? Do we still have charger DCN and all that type of stuff that we used to have? This is the enable signal that goes out to P3V3 underscore G3 hop. We already have that. SMC four finger reset. SMC four finger reset. I love that. So we have P in. All right, so power in is just directly coming from DCN. We used to have a 20 ohm resistor, I believe, for charger DCN, and now we don't have that anymore. Hmm, I wonder if that VDDA is there. Damn, I can't believe Hi Hi did picture in picture. This is so awesome. This is so effing awesome. Five volts. Is it is it safe now to blame the ISO 9239? 
All right, let's blame the ISO 9239, and we're going to replace that ISO 9239 with a new ISO 9239, which you can buy on store.rossmangroup.com. Every time you put money into store.rossmangroup.com, you're helping Clinton the cat not starve to death. Little Clinton. He's a very hungry kitty. He eats me out of house and home. So we're going to put a Paul-approved amount of flux over there. Now we're going to get a new chip from store.rossmangroup.com. 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 If it's not on store.rossmangroup.com, you don't want it. You don't need it. It's useless. Junk. Garbage. All you need is what you can find on store.rossmangroup.com. That's store.rossmangroup.com. Get on the pads, you bastard. Wow, I can't align for shit today. Must mean not all the transactions occurred on store.rossmangroup.com. When did Lewis forget how to place a BGA? This is fucking painful. This has got to be painful to watch. Alright, I'm just going to go in like this. I'm going to pray that it aligns itself. Because Lewis has clearly forgotten how to align a BGA chip. This is painful. I feel like I'm watching a student fail, except it's me. That chip really did not want to be on a MacBook. That chip was just screaming, screaming, screaming. Please, not a MacBook. No, not in a MacBook. No, not a, no, not on a MacBook. I don't want to go on a MacBook. Ah! Too fucking bad, ISL9239. You're going on a MacBook. 
That's that. All right. We're going to cool this off using rapid cool technology. BGA stands for ball grid array, meaning that the chip it sits on a an array of balls. Instead of it having connections on the side, it has connections all under it. Let's see if this works. If we fixed our problem and gotten our PP bus back. PP bus. PP bus. PP bus. Yes. Yes. It works. We have a MacBook. How dare you reject going on this board, little ISL9239? I tell you what board you go on. Little chip trying to say it didn't want to go on the board just because it doesn't want to go on a MacBook. Do you think I want to be fixing a MacBook at 1047 on a Thursday night? Hmm? Hmm? That's what I thought. I can't decide what I want to do, but you can decide what board you want to go on now, don't you? You little prissy ISL9239. Fuck out of here. And if you need to get an ISL9239, if you want to fix a MacBook, once you realize that your current sensing circuit's working just fine, and that the transistor is not being told to open, not that the transistor's dead, then head over to store.rossfromgroup.com, where you can find an ISL9239 right here for the low, low price of $15.91. Beautiful. $15.91, shipped with same-day shipping straight from New York City, free shipping within the continental United States, with orders over $30, amazingly well-rated. This store is award-winning. Look at this. Look at these ratings. You cannot beat these ratings. 2,300 ratings. And we have a 4.9 average rate. We have a couple of, we have two one-stars and six two-stars, but those people are probably dickheads anyway. You cannot beat store.rossmangroup.com. And soon we're even going to be selling microscopes. You know what I've said, folks? Remember when I said that this microscope that I have here is the only one that I can find that has the good adapter that allows you to plug the camera in and not have blurriness and vignetting and chromatic aber, aber something that I can't pronounce properly. But this one is the one that is good. We are going to be selling a microscope that looks just like this. Not like that stuff that you're going to get from Amscope or Romano today where it has the funky, crappy shit adapter that you can't change out for this one because it won't even fit in the microscope. We are going to sell Rossman Repair Group branded microscopes, folks. And you're even going to be able to try them out in store. Are you excited? Are you excited? Store.rossmangroup.com. And on Friday, if Steve is able to finish going through firmware hell and all the drives he's working on this Friday, maybe, just maybe, you may get a data recovery video. A hard drive data recovery video. I got the long HDMI cables to go over there. I got the extra uh, second camera set up. I got the uh, another microphone. This is going to be good stuff. I'm excited. Are you excited? Because I'm excited. I'm excited. This board works. Look at that. Look at that. This board has a peepee -pee bus. This board has a peepee -pee bus. Look at this. Oh, this is great. This is great. This is great. I am so excited. And folks, you should be too. Look at that. I turn on the multimeter. PP bus. 800 milliamps. That is turning on. Turning on MacBook. SendYourMacBook.com. The best quality MacBook repairs in the industry. The best. The leading. Don't for you just forget about the fact that I forgot how to solder a BGA after... 10 years of being in business. It still works! I hope you learned something. That being said, I'll see you in the next video. I have to put my, my trunk and my back seat up back on my Bafang. I have a second seat to my Bafang bicycle. You know, some guys, they think that they're going to... They think they have a better chance with women because they get a Bentley, they get themselves a Jaguar, a Ferrari, a Lamborghini... But I do. When I meet a woman that I think is going to be interesting or exciting, I ride up on my Bafang and I say, girl, want to take a ride in the back seat of my Bafang? I installed that seat myself. Maybe some help from Paul, but mostly myself. My Bafang goes up to 72 volts, 90 amps with my this controller I get tomorrow. Eh? Eh? You want to see how fast we go 0 to 20 miles an hour? 0 to 19.9? And the speed of light. That being said, I'll see you all in the next video. I fixed a MacBook. I am happy and excited, folks.